guys, it's me and I am on a recording binge because I just filmed two other videos and then I am filming this video. I told Lita that I would do it. She did the alternative girl tag and I thought this was just interesting and you can get to know a little bit more about me and um, just silly stuff. So I'll go right into the questions and the first one is describe your style. Um, I think it's silly because I don't really have a style per se anymore. Like I used to be really into goth and punk and like, you know, cyberpunk and all sorts of vinyl and stuff. Now it's whatever I'm comfortable in. I do tend to swing towards like the rocker alternative, even though I don't really like that word, side. Um, you know, it's just whatever I'm comfortable with. So it's like jeans, horror t-shirts. And then I also have a bunch of like, um, like punk horror dresses and uh, ripped up jeans because I need those and Iron Fist things and Killstar and Restyle. So it's a lot of different things that my style is. Um, how did you start wearing, you know, weird styles, piercing tattoos, etc. That is for me when I was in middle school. So uh, like eighth grade, 13. I started wearing um, goth glues and actually I had my first tattoo when I was 13 but as far as piercings go I already had my ears pierced like three times and my cartilage done a couple times not a couple times in my ear but like I got it done and then something happened and I had to get it redone kind of thing so the piercings have always been with me since I was like a baby my mother got my ears pierced when I was really young um, did your parents accept your style? My mother is always very supportive of how I express myself as a, a young adult <laughs> or a teenager. She was all about it and if anything she helped me feel more comfortable wearing the clothes that I did because I didn't feel judged and that was back in the day, you know, when Marilyn Manson was considered the real antichrist and everybody was going to go to hell and, you know, <laughs> Columbine, all that stuff, you know, it was still a little, you know, not cool to be goth then. So she was always supportive. And have you ever suffered bullying for being different? I think everyone has suffered bullying one point or another and I don't think it's necessarily for being different. I do know I was bullied when I was not different. I know I was bullied because I was diabetic and I know I was bullied because I looked like a witch or a satanist. People just have far too much time on their hands that they're unhappy with themselves that they have to make fun of other people to make themselves feel better. So yeah, I've been bullied, but nothing major, no fights, close to fights, but <laughs> nothing bad. I mean, it, I had a very typical normal childhood. Um, what was the most outrageous look you've ever had? Um, I don't think... I could say that I've ever had an extreme look. I mean, I have worn um, bondage fetish type clothing to bondage fetish events and before anybody thinks anything crazy, no, it wasn't like sexual stuff, but you know, um, vinyl with like straps and buckles and all sorts of stuff. I mean, that was a style that you would wear out to events, not every day. Um, I think I've been pretty much like, normal in the sense of the alternative way you know nothing was very outrageous i think though when i started wearing blue jeans people had more of a, a hissy fit over that because they never thought that they'd see the day that i'd wear blue jeans well yeah that was probably the most outrageous look <laughs> do you have any tattoos or piercings what do you think do i have tattoos and piercings i have many <laughs> of both I have 19 piercings and over 40 tattoos. And what would you say to people who are suffering or being judged for the way they look right now? And all I can say is just ignore everyone because you are you and you are one of a kind. Somebody's always gonna have a problem with something. Like I said, I was bullied for all sorts of different things. You know, people have far too much time on their hands and just know usually when people make fun of the way you look it's because they're jealous of it because 
you are doing something they're not even if they're not into being alternative or goth or whatever the fact that you have the the guts to express yourself in such a way people are jealous of that confidence so i would just say you know ignore everyone it's your life you're living your life and if those people are judging you they shouldn't be in your life and ignore it so yeah i figured <laughs> i'd do that quick little tag um not gonna tag anyone just like lita though i'd just say if you want to do the tag go ahead and comment down below if you didn't i'll check out your video um as you guys know i'm starting to get back into doing youtube videos so stay tuned and stay patient if i post 20 different videos wearing the same thing i swear it's just this one day i didn't you know wear the same thing for 20 different days so all right guys until next time take care